Welcome to our architectural journey. Today, we're exploring a remarkable gem in the realm of American architecture, the William E. Martin House, designed by the legendary Frank Lloyd Wright. Nestled in the historic district of Oak Park, Illinois, this house is a prime example of Wright's innovative prairie style, adapted to a suburban setting. Join us as we delve into the intricate details of the house's design, layout, and the unique story behind its creation. From the flowing interior spaces to the integration with nature through its materials and expansive windows, every aspect of this home tells a story of visionary design and thoughtful adaptation. Let's see what next. The William E. Martin House, designed by Frank Lloyd Wright in 1902, stands as a distinguished example of prairie-style architecture, situated in Oak Park, Illinois. This residence encapsulates Wright's innovative responses to spatial and environmental challenges brought about by the compact nature of the suburban lot at 636 Northeast Avenue. From an architectural standpoint, the house is notable for its ingenious utilization of vertical space manifest in its three-story structure. This is less common in Wright's typically sprawling prairie-style homes, which favor horizontal expansion. The design incorporates a full basement, which not only houses utilities like heating and laundry, but also includes a workroom, maximizing the utility of every square foot of the lot. The ground floor layout is masterfully planned to ensure a seamless flow among the main living spaces, entry hall, living room, dining room, and breakfast room, without the conventional reception room found in earlier designs. Significant alterations from the original plans include the transformation of the dining room into a library and the extension of a new dining area that spans the full width of the rear of the house, opening up to the lawn and garden. This adjustment signifies Wright's flexibility and attention to client needs. The material finishes of stucco and wood are consistent with the prairie style, aiming to harmonize the structure with its natural surroundings. The inclusion of continuous bands of corner windows enhances this integration, flooding the interior with natural light and offering expansive views of the landscaped environment, which originally included a pergola designed by Walter Burley Griffin in 1909, though it has since been demolished. On the upper floors, the house accommodates four bedrooms and a bathroom, with additional space on a third level for a playroom and a servant's room, each benefiting from separate balconies. This thoughtful distribution of private spaces over multiple floors illustrates Wright's adeptness at vertical design strategies within constrained urban settings. Let's start our tour in the basement, a space ingeniously designed to maximize utility within a compact footprint. This area houses the heating system, laundry facilities, and even includes a workroom. It's a testament to Wright's ability to make every square inch count, providing essential services without encroaching on the living spaces above. Moving up to the first floor, we find the heart of the home. Wright's design philosophy of open, flowing spaces is beautifully demonstrated here. The entry hall seamlessly connects to the living room, dining room, and breakfast nook. Originally, the dining room was converted into a library, with a new dining area extended across the back of the house. This opens directly onto the lawn and garden, enhancing the connection to the outdoors, a key element in prairie-style architecture. As we ascend to the second floor, the layout shifts towards privacy and tranquility. This level features four bedrooms and a bathroom, strategically placed to ensure a quiet private space for relaxation and sleep. The thoughtful placement of windows and the orientation of rooms maximize natural light and scenic views, further enriching the living experience. Our final ascent takes us to the third floor, which offers specialized spaces for leisure and service. Here, there's a playroom and a servant's room, each with its own balcony. 
These balconies are not just architectural features. They provide a vital connection to the outdoors, bringing in fresh air and offering a place of retreat. Throughout the William E. Martin House, Frank Lloyd Wright's mastery of space and his innovative approach to residential design are evident. From the functional depths of the basement to the airy heights of the third floor, each level of this home is designed with precision and purpose, ensuring that every aspect of the house not only meets the needs of its inhabitants, but also complements the natural beauty of its surroundings. As we explore the interiors, Frank Lloyd Wright not only crafted a structure, but choreographed a living experience. Each room, each detail, serves a purpose, enhancing the functionality of the house while celebrating its aesthetic beauty. The integration of indoor spaces with the natural environment creates a living environment that is timeless and profoundly comfortable. As we step outside to the covered veranda of the William E. Martin House, we enter a space that beautifully encapsulates Wright's philosophy of organic architecture. This terrace serves as a transitional area, blurring the lines between the interior comforts of the home and the natural beauty of its surroundings. The terrace is thoughtfully designed with wide, overhanging eaves that provide shade and shelter, allowing for its use in various weather conditions. The ceiling, often in a deep, rich wood, complements the stucco walls of the house, reinforcing the natural aesthetic that Wright famously promoted. It's not just a passageway, but a living area, furnished to encourage relaxation and social interaction. One of the most striking features of this veranda is its openness to the garden and lawn, providing panoramic views of the landscaped grounds. Originally, the property included a pergola designed by Walter Burley Griffin, which further enhanced the connection to the outdoors, although it has since been demolished. The current layout, however, continues to invite the outdoors in, making nature an ever-present element of the living space. Finally, thank you for joining me on this architectural adventure through the William E. Martin House, a stunning example of Frank Lloyd Wright's innovative design and mastery of space. We've explored the harmonious interiors, the ingenious layout, and the serene terrace that seamlessly connects with nature. I hope this tour has not only enlightened you about Wright's architectural genius, but also inspired you to appreciate how spaces can be designed to enhance our interaction with the environment. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of Oak Park's architectural treasures, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you won't miss our future explorations into beautiful homes and groundbreaking designs. Do you have a favorite Frank Lloyd Wright house or another architect you'd like us to explore? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep looking up and around you because great design is everywhere. Take care and stay inspired.